Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I know you guys heard of the brand ProKenX. I wonder though, if you've ever heard of the kinetic technology that is associated with that brand. I've talked to so many people and they kind of give me that puzzled look, just like Coach Jared. So I feel like I should explain it to the next generation. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So a lot of you may know the name Pro Kenex. Um, it's actually very iconic. Uh, they've been around for a long, long time. The makers of ProKenix, uh, owners of ProKenix, was called Kumon. They designed rackets for pretty much every ragga manufacturer out there. Um, but a lot of you probably don't know that. Uh, they created the brand ProKenix and designed rackets for themselves like... Uh, like a black ace, silver ace, uh, other other rackets called the graphite prophecy, right? Graphite destiny, ceramic versions of those rackets. Um, I'm bringing you guys way back to the late '80s and into the early, very early '90s. Now, about 30 years ago, they had a meeting with us at the San Francisco Tennis Club. And they called in all the dealers and basically brought out the first kinetic racket. It was blacked out, 100 square inch head, and sounded like that. As you guys and as, and as a lot of people have said, oh yeah, that's sand. Yeah, there's sand in the racket. No, it's kinetic mass. Let me explain. So this was the display that they brought out. Yeah, it looks pretty good for 30 years, right? So, chamber. This is one chamber. Obviously, this is bigger than what's in the racket. The original version had a hundred of these in the head of the racket and one in the butt cap. Half filled with lead granules. Again, called kinetic mass. No sand. As you can hear it on my mic, right? It's like a maracas. Okay? Like like a instrument okay now this one is one of the chambers just one this one is nothing okay like a regular racket without kinetic mass so let me demonstrate how this works when a regular racket strikes the ball right what happens well, let me show you. Can we put it on the surface? Okay, ready? Okay. So, racket hits ball, vibration. Right? So, this is your racket essentially when the ball releases. It it keeps doing this until the energy stops. Okay? So, that is a regular racket without kinetic technology. This is a racket with kinetic technology. Look, look. The difference. Okay. You ever wonder why your arm hurts? especially if you frame a shot or hit off center or hit late or do anything that's just not perfect from hitting um, 
a regular tennis ball? This is what's happening. You're feeling all the vibration. Now, how does this really work? How does being half filled with sand, kinetic mass, help you? Well, think of it this way. When your racket, when your racket goes back, okay, you're essentially almost loading it to the back of the chambers. When you come forward, it's still in the back, still in the back, still in the back. At impact, right, at impact, guess what happens? <laughs> happens. All of that sand, all of that kinetic mass explodes forward into the object that you strike, which is a tennis ball. What does that do? The energy that it exudes goes all in, all into that ball, sending that ball over with the extra amount of kinetic mass. This is energy into that ball, sending it back. So it explodes upon impact. Therefore, making the whole racket kind of a sweet spot, especially when you had 100 chambers, right? So that's extra power, extra energy. Now, the secondary process is when the ball, when the ball releases, the kinetic mass is shaking back and forth, shaking back and forth, stopping the vibration, causing your elbow not to take the strain, the vibration, the, the jolt, the shock, all of the above, it stops. Right? So that is kinetic technology. And that's how it was explained to me about 30 years ago. Now I've got three models here. Um, as you see, each of the models say five, right? Or 10 or 15. So five means five grams of kinetic mass. Probably the least they do. 10 means 10 grams. 15 means 15 grams. So in their smaller, slightly heavier, more intermediate type level rackets, people may not want the extra mass. They may not need the extra dampening, but they do want the dampening for that level of player. So for the players of the world, five grams may be all you need. Now, like the first model, which was the kinetic 10G, this model has 10 grams of kinetic mass, which I feel is really, really good for, you know, taking out the shock and avoiding tennis elbow. Uh, so 10 grams here. Now, if you want the ultimate in shock dampening, arm protection, 15 is the most they make. So 15 grams of kinetic mass, 15 grams of shaking here. The more there is, the more it's going to dampen when the ball releases and it takes out the uh, resin, you know, the vibration. Plus the more power. So 15 grams at impact explodes into the ball too, making this particular racket more powerful. Now, the other thing the kinetic mass does is, depending on where they put the chambers, will be dependent upon how far this particular racket gets a sweet spot. So because there are chambers um, in either the four quadrants or in specific places of the racket, it extends the sweet spot higher than most other rackets. Because if you think about it, 
if you put it, you know, like lead tape up, up in the head of the hoop, when you do this, when it strikes, even if you hit it up here, all that kinetic mass is going to help send that ball back because of just the energy and at impact it's going to release and all that thing is going to go right towards the ball and send the ball out of there probably without shock and probably without much um, distortion so uh, so that is the story of prokenix kinetic now in these models they're very strategically placed it's not 100 chambers anymore um, they do it in four quadrants and then in three and nine um, they also add it to the bottom there is a single chamber in here because we hold it there so when that when you strike this takes care of the head vibrating down into the handle this will also shake to take the last of the vibration out of the equation so definitely these rackets are built to save and protect your arm all right guys you just sat through a presentation of what i sat through about 30 years ago that is the pro kinetics kinetic technology explained Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Rob. What's up, Harry? New toy? New toy. What, what are we doing? Well, you know, we've been hitting, and you keep telling me how flat a ball I hit, so I thought I'd better get some top spin in my, get my little uh, more roll to my shots. The so, coach is uh, getting fed some balls by, what is this thing? fast track tennis harry wow i can come in i can hit volleys i can work on my drop shot since we've been watching so much clay come around and go backhand you can come to the net hit a forehand fasttracktennis.com is the way to get your own link is below you can literally be hitting this all day long until the power runs out or you hit all the balls over the fence or until you get some topspin